In March of 2020, when we all shut down our offices, nobody knew what the next step was going to be. We knew that PPP was going to be a thing, but nobody really knew what the rules were. And so once I read all of the papers, I got a call from Barb Horn who said, at the time she was the president, we need you to run a webinar for the AOA. Over 5,000 people registered for the first PPP event and we knew everybody was in great need. All in all, $1.6 billion went to optometrists to help them survive COVID. We owe him a lot. The profession owes him a lot. Most people I don't think understand what he truly sacrificed, um, especially during the shutdown and the, and the PPP loan process. We spent hundreds of hours looking at the documents that I would never want to look at. The amount of effort that he put in selflessly was tremendous. We're fortunate to have folks like him around, and I'm fortunate to call him my friend. The AOA is full of many volunteers who are dedicated, selfless, driven, who would be worthy of the title AOA Optometrist of the Year. But there's no one who is more worthy, in my mind, than Jeff Michaels. What he has done over the past two years with the Paycheck Protection Program webinars that he's done for all of us, what he's done at the same time leading Virginia with the rest of his colleagues there to their advanced scope. He has been all in for optometry since day one. Um, whether it has been serving on our board of trustees or working on membership issues or legislative fronts, uh, when you know Jeff gets involved, you're gonna get 100% of Jeff. That really kinda came to fruition this year and you kinda saw the pinnacle of it when Dr. Michaels was involved with our scope expansion effort. He made sure that we had a targeted game plan that went many years back uh, and made sure that on that kinda path to success that we always were on course and it took somebody in a leadership role like that to make sure that our kind of strategic plan really finalized and finished at the appropriate place. And he was that champion that we needed to get us across the line. I love working for optometry. I love working at the local level, the state level, the national level. My wish for optometry is that all of the optometrists will see within the AOA what I see that this is a place of family. This is a place of camaraderie. This is a place where we help each other, we work together for one purpose, one team.